Hi folks, this is Christophe Theron checking in for Trade Tax Plus Center of Excellence. Um, in this video, we'll spend a little bit of time looking at the concept of essential goods and services. You may recall that in previous sessions we talked about the regulation and the regulation regulates what goods and services may be supplied during the uh, lockdown period and that's all it does it only applies to the lockdown period not the entire COVID-19 uh, process so it says you allow to sell certain uh, products and certain goods and as we've said it was or it is still um, classified into very broad categories just to give you an idea um, the entire section dealing with with goods consists of five items uh, food, cleaning and hygiene uh, products, medical, food, including uh, fuel, including coal and gas, basic goods. That's it. So included in that could be just about anything. Um, and that you'll come, we'll come across as we, as we debate what should go in there. I mean, a good debate at this stage is uh, liquor and alcohol. Um, not liquor and alcohol, <laughs> see what I'm thinking about. Uh, alcohol and cigarettes. Uh, at the moment it's out, then you hear again, now it's cigarettes is back in and then it's out. And it's because it's, it's, it's flexible, it's liquid. You can almost just decide on a daily basis what you want into those pockets. But we're going to park this legislation now, because this got nothing to do with tax whatsoever. This is an operational issue. What am I allowed to sell in this period? So then we get to the VAT Act and the Customs and Excise Act. Now those acts are directly linked. The Customs and Excise Act allows and always has allowed under rebate item 41211 to import goods uh, in, a, in, a, in a state of disaster free of customs duty and free of VAT. The VAT always has allowed those the VAT uh, element to be exempt from VAT uh, if it is brought in under customs heading 41211. It's always been like that. It's only now become more relevant because we, for the first time in my life in any way, we are in a uh, state of disaster. So now that, that, that those elements have become relevant. So what about um, the interlinking between customs and, and the concept of essential goods and services? Now, the concept of essential goods and services in the, in, in the, in the uh, Customs and Excise Act, those things are, are defined under headings. So you've got a gazillion potential, potential items falling within those categories, um, all under a specific heading. Now, if you look at, and you can get this on the, on the um, ITAC website if you want to, but if you look at the list, of um, items included in potential um, essential items it is one two three four five six seven eight pages of items and this is what the page looks like you can see this there's lots of it from an itac perspective itac is there to administer customs duty now, if I look at this list, all of this is uh, essential goods and services. But some of these goods and services would be subject to duty and some of them would generally not be in any event, so be subject to duty. So now, ITAC, they say we're only concerned about dutiable goods, that's our mandate, we're not concerned about anything else. The VAT Act says, and this is where the challenge comes in, the VAT Act says, but you can't import those goods free of VAT, unless ITAC issues a certificate that those goods could be entered under um, heading 41211, uh, under, under that customs heading. ITAC says, but we will not issue a certificate for something which hasn't got duty on it, because we're not concerned about VAT. We don't administer VAT. We're concerned about customs and nothing else. So can you see the conundrum? On the one side, the goods should really come in uh, as, as uh, goods exempt from VAT. On the other side, the VAT Act says, 
But Mr. ITAC, if you don't issue a certificate, then you can't bring those goods in free of VAT. And ITAC says, well, we don't care because we don't deal with VAT, we deal with customs, so we can't issue a certificate for those goods. How did they overcome this? And what are the rules that apply now? And that we'll do in, um, or we'll cover that in the next uh, video. For now, it's me, Chris Ron, checking out for Trade Tax Plus, Center of Excellence. Be safe.